Hello everyone, my name is Kareem Solomon and you are listening to Renal and Transplant Bullets Straight to Your Brain. I'm planning to go over two series of lectures. The first is the L, Learning Series, while the second is the T, Testing Series. So let's get started. Some useful tips for writing notes. Rule number one, be concise and to the point. Avoid unuseful info. Rule number two, ask yourself, What's the reason for the consult? So the primary team is consulting you because of a reason. They want to know what's going on with the kidney. They need help with an AKI. They need help with ESRD management. They need help with immunosuppression management. Please avoid saying like patient presenting with a creatinine of three, today is five. Primary team knows that. Try to add something new. Why it's five today? Put a differential diagnosis. Rule number three, try to finish your progress note before rounding in the morning. This has two benefits. Benefit number one, if you get a consult note or two or three in the afternoon, you don't have any progress note to write anymore. You're done with it in the morning. And if you don't get a consult note in the afternoon, you will be done when you finish with your attending. Also, this gives a good impression to your attending. And guess what? If you have clinic in the afternoon, you don't have to come back to the hospital at 5 or 6 p.m. to finish your notes. This makes life so much easier. Trust me. Rule number four, try to use references in your note. Be and look like a professional. Rule number five, put in maximum effort. Rectify your intention to benefit the patient. Lastly, when I was a fellow, I tried avoiding doubling the effort, coming in the morning, reviewing all the labs, then rounding on the patients, and then writing the notes again with reviewing the lab, then round again with the attending. Too much waste of time and effort. I used to avoid the early one hour sitting in front of the computer before physical rounding. So I just come round without even looking at the charts, quickly, quickly review updated labs and events through mobile Epic just before entering the patient's room to be able to answer patient's questions. Remember, time is precious. With the patient, try to be really focused. Is the patient alert oriented? Is he ventilated or not? What's the FiO2? Is he on pressors or not? Are the pressor requirements increasing or decreasing? Is he on CRRT? Can we switch him to shift therapy versus hemodialysis? Is the patient overloaded? Does he have lower extremity edema? What's his urine output and blood pressure and any new events overnight? For patients in the room, ask about any new symptoms, signs or events overnight, any investigation that we're waiting for, and when is the expected day of a discharge. Don't forget a quick listen to the heart for any rubs or murmurs, the chest for any wheezes or crackles, and the abdomen if he's fresh of surgery just to hear the bowel movements, because you're documenting this in your note. Again, very important is the blood pressure and urine output and lower extremity edema, an indication for overload. That's pretty much what you get from physical rounding. Focus on pertinent findings. Talk to the team and get ready for writing the notes and rounding with the attending. That's it. Thanks for listening.